Um, my name is Chris Atkins. I'm the coordinator of the MAEP program. Um, I've been here at the museum for a little bit less than a year, and this is my first time experiencing Foot in the Door. We had a feeling that there was going to be a lot of interest, that people were going to be waiting and people were going to be ready to go. Um, I think a lot of people want to be in first so that their work gets hung up first. Um, where that will be in the wall and how it grids out, not, we're not quite sure yet. But, um, but the line that we see out there, wasn't, didn't, wasn't sure it was going to get that long. Hi, sir. Hi. How are you? This is the wings of a monarch butterfly. It's called the sound of laughter. Clear glass marbles in a pool of rainbow light. We moved it because it was right in our walkway. Foot in the Door is the, well, it's going to be the biggest exhibition in the state. It happened, happens once every 10 years. There's quite a line. I just heard about it a couple days ago. This is a picture of the resplendent Quetzal from Costa Rica. Anyone who calls himself an artist living and working in the state of Minnesota, the only qualification is that it has to fit in a 12 by 12 by 12 box. Try to get the right dimensions. Anything bigger, unfortunately, doesn't fit. An 80 pound uh, piece made out of soapstone. I'm, I'm trying to give them as much of a challenge as they're giving us putting it in one cubic foot. <laughs> Calling this the third dimension. I heard about the foot in the door from friends and my wife too. You know, every 10, 10 years, I think I, I, don't wanna, I didn't want to miss that. The MIA is is a place where everyone wants to show. So by having a piece there, foot in the door was a really big deal. My name is Ravi Sanfo. I'm a metal worker. I've been working with steel for 11 years before I, I became, I started making sculpture. I love working with metal. I mean, I, I've been working for, with it uh, for so long that it kind of became like clay to me. I think um, I've, I think it's everything is possible with steel now that I've found, and I'm still finding new possibilities and new tricks. This is a bird that I'm I'm making, and it's gonna go on the wall. So the piece I'm gonna be working on today is gonna be a wall piece uh, on this style. I grew up in Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou, which is the capital of Burkina Faso. Burkina is a landlocked country in West Africa, north of Ghana. Being a kid, our parents didn't really have the financial means to give us toys at Christmas, so they taught us how to make our own toys by using scissors and hammers at the early, early age, and um, I think this was already a beginning, even though I didn't know I was gonna be doing this. I need to start welding it. And that's it. I'm kind of holding my breath right now to get my frame measured because it's 10 by 8, but with the extra wood on here, it kind of measures to like 12.02 inches. This is a public service piece to uh, assist the public in discerning what is necessary. A friend of mine, Jen Steinbrink, she's up in Crookston, Minnesota. She has a studio up there and she got Entrepreneur of the Year up there. This is a watercolor called Country Princess. What you got? I got this. Lovely. Well, thank, thank you. you. A lot more people than I expected at 10 a.m. Awesome. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I'll be back on the team. Awesome. Thanks. They didn't even check. Yeah. Um, I'm Kathy Litfin. Hello. Come on in. <laughs> I just graduated the Art Institutes International of Minnesota with a Bachelor's of Science in Graphic Design. Here we have my living room. Now what I have hanging up are some of my first art pieces ever uh, that bring me inspiration and uh, make me feel pretty comfortable about, about what I do. This type of drawing, this line art, is something that I, I do when I want to kind of release all the design tension in my head, all the rules and regulations that graphic design and the industry like force upon you. If I had a rainbow, follow me where I go. Everyone would like me, cause I'd be so colorful. And if I had an apple, 
one of the worst things that you could do as an artist is actually decide that you like your picture before it's finished because then it's not a um, an exploration anymore for what you can do with your mind and with your talent it's more of a preservation at that point to, to retain that beauty that you found in it already. Now when I work on these Photoshop pieces, the, they're very similar to how I do my, my line drawings. I don't really go in with 100% of a game plan. I kind of just let things happen and kind of go with what feels right. This picture here is made up of only one color. So all the darker and the lighter oranges in there are just the tints and the tones of the one color. So I thought that was pretty cool to be able to hit that many ranges in one picture with one color. It weighs 80 pounds, so. It weighs 80 pounds? Yes. Okay, well let's make sure it measures first and we'll uh, yeah, put it in there. We're not gonna get it in there. I came from Northern Minnesota and two, two of the people couldn't come, so I brought down their artwork also. Oh, I think you got it. I don't know what's up. This is up. Oh. <laughs> wow. Perfect. Uh, my name is Jeff Bush, and I uh, am a sculptor primarily, but I also do uh, pieces for the wall. The Chinese Book of Changes is a is a, a text of o over 3,000 years ago. I did I did this on Valentine's Day for Marie. It comprises of what are called hexagrams, and these are six lines, and the lines are either broken or they're unbroken. And of this, each of the 64 hexagrams has a very specific meaning. Now this, this is a piece uh, about a very gifted uh, composer and musician who came home and found his apartment burned to the ground, and all that was left was an ukulele. This was a beautiful ukulele at one time, and he gave it to me, and I came up with this piece, which is based on an old shipping pallet. Uh, this hexagram is called Work on What Has Been Spoiled, and the little hidden hexagram in it is the, the six frets painted red uh, that indicate the creative. I, put, I submitted a piece to the foot in the door, so one side of the four-side piece made out of soapstone. It has hexagram for creativity, and then the opposite is biting through and then there's one called Kung Fu, which means inner, inner strength, or inner truth, actually. And then the opposite of that is one called Grace. I think you probably have the largest, heaviest work that we've come across so far. I, I like the idea of being there with all of these other people. It turned out to be over 5,000. 5,000 Minnesotans wanted a piece in the Institute. Uh, we've got everything from 2D, 3D, iron sculptures, wooden um, birdhouses, photographs, kind of, kind of the range of things. Animals covered with fur. Um...